actually not that dark, but in this video I'll be showing you how to create the veins, the black veins that are going through the arms from in the video Billy Elish and also how to create black eyes also seen in that video. In her video they use some kind of injection needle, but I found it a very interesting technique to show a little bit more in detail in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into Adobe After Effects and see how it's done. And also if you enjoy watching my videos be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. If you want to follow along with this tutorial using the exact same footage as me, I will put a link in the description below where you can download those. And before we start this video I quickly want to mention which light that I used in this video because for the people that are looking for an affordable all around LED light this is a very interesting go to. So I am using the Soonwell FB21 flexible LED light which is both both dimmable and adjustable in color temperature. It goes from 3000 Kelvin all the way up to 5600 Kelvin which means you have cold light and warm light. You can either use it as a simple flexible light but you can also mount it into a softbox but a softbox that doesn't require a lot of space which is ideal for my small office space. I don't want a big softbox in my room because I just don't have space for it so this LED light is a really great replacement and then you can also use it in smaller space. You can even duct tape it to the wall in smaller spaces and yet have a very big surface LED light which is very powerful and you can also use it wirelessly if you are in an outdoor scene if you have a battery. So I'm a really big fan of this light. If you want to find out more about it I will put a link in the description below so you can go and check it out for yourself. Alright are you ready? So here we have the footage of my arm. I already graded it just very slightly. Uh, we will be using this and and make the veins uh, pop out a little bit here from the edge. So what I will do is drag my footage into a new composition right here and then what I want to do is create a new solid layer. So it's actually really really simple. I'm just going to make that black for now and rename this to veins. Here I want to apply the effect by going to the effects and presets, the advanced lightning uh, effect right here that we also used in the Thor video recently if you didn't see that go and check it out and there we do go over a little bit on the uh, lightning effect but in this case we're going to be using this as a vein as it also has some kind of uh, vein structure. So we will go into the glow settings at first and change the glow opacity to zero because we don't want any glows coming from our veins and then we're going to the core settings and change it to some kind of dark bluish color uh, to give it some, uh, yeah, a little bit of a slide color here and click OK. Now we're going to drag this like over here to the edge and then also the direction, put it like that. And we're going to change the lightning type to a strike. And here we can play around with everything so we can make it a little bit longer and we can make the radius a little bit bigger, something like maybe four or three. Four actually works OK. And then we can go into and play with the expert settings, the forking, the turbulence, the decay. Just play around with everything and yeah, we can go and start playing with this here. So we're going to just play around a little bit so everything is a little bit different. And I also want to play with the core drain so it kind of fades out at the end here. It's not too obvious. Something like that. And then less decay over here on the edges. Maybe a little bit more forking. And the fork strength. We can also play with the variation here so we can really see the difference. And even then you can really play with that even as an animated option. So like the veins are really changing up underneath your body which is a pretty cool effect as well. So I'm going to make them lower a little bit like that. Bring this out a little bit more to the edge and play a little bit more. Less core drain, more or less fork strength. And the overall like decay over here. You can also play with the complexity but I kind of like 6, you can go for 7 or 8 
and see what that does but it's getting a little bit too detailed so I like to just keep it very simple like this now once you have something that you're satisfied with what you can do is just duplicate this footage and then move around a little bit with the origin uh, well the origin should be off screen here um, but we can play around with these over here so maybe drag this down a little bit and play with with these effects so like right here it's kind of growing out here which I kind of like we can duplicate it once more and maybe play a little bit more with these I don't want to go too crazy here I want to kind of keep them together and you can always play with the conductivity state which is, which is just going to change up the, uh, the veins a little bit like this so now we have something interesting going on I kind of like this one here and uh, this one actually looks really really cool so what I will do once I'm ready is I will just click on one of the veins and then go to the expert settings right here and we have the core drain so what I want to do is click on the stopwatch a little bit further into time like right over here and we want to click on the core drain here and go back to the beginning and change this to zero um, well actually 100% um, and that way it's kind of growing on our body so if we're going to solo this layer we can see this growing like this which is really cool we can even play with the other DK setting right here if we're gonna click over here for a new keyframe and go to the beginning and also DK it a little bit more and maybe at the end we want to DK it a little bit less to see a little bit more that way it's kind of gross out on our arm which is a really cool effect and what you can do then is just press U on the keyboard and copy these settings and just paste them to the other settings right here and if we're going to insolo this we now have something growing like this okay and actually we do have a little bit too much of that action going on so DK point three we're also gonna keep it point three over here and point three and even for the first one 3.5 maybe a little bit less okay so this looks pretty cool and once you've done that we now we want to track our arm here and as I do have some hair on my arm we can use that as a tracking data if you don't have that uh, you can always use some tracking points so you can just use a marker and make some points on your arm and then later on you can remove them with an object removal technique I do have tutorials on that just go to my channel and search for object removal and then you will find a tutorial on that so you can remove your markers afterwards but in this case it wasn't necessary so what I will do is click on my original footage and I will search for Mocha AE we're going to apply this to my footage and then jump into Mocha we're just going to go to the beginning of my timeline click on the pen tool or the spline tool here and just mask out something like this and then also check perspective and then just track it forward okay cool so now we can just close that save this yes and then we're going to right click new and create a new new null object we're going to rename this to track arm click on our footage again open up the track data for the mocha ae and go to create track data and check it over here click on the layer and click ok that's going to generate the tracking information and then we want to go for the export option change it to a trans uh, transform and then just select our track arm here as a layer to export to and then just apply the export and now our null will be tracked to our arm and then all we have to do is just select all of our veins here go for layer recompose and we're going to rename this veins then click OK and now we just want to link or parent this to the null here so now our veins are really kind of sticking to the arm which is really cool and then what we want to do as well is maybe go to the ellipse tool zoom out a little bit and create some kind of circle over here make it a little bit less long and what we want to do here with that uh, with that well that mask is press M on the keyboard open up the mask options here and click on the mask expansion so right here we click on the stopwatch in the center of our animation then go all the way till the beginning and we can even kind of bring this down so we really remove like all of the all of the veins here so bring it lower and lower and lower until we don't see the veins anymore and there we go so now the veins are growing out and we can also play with the feather here so we really get that kind of smooth action going on but now they're really off screen and coming on and then once they're complete 
we still see the DK also growing, which is really cool. Then what you can do is go for effect, blur and sharpen, and we can use a CC vector blur and change this to like five if you want. That will make it a little bit more kind of, um, yeah, different kind of texture to the veins. And then we can also go for effect, blur and sharpen and use a Gaussian blur to really add some subtle blur, like three pixels, but that's just going to um, fit it a little bit better with our original footage. And then you can also press T on the keyboard to lower this to something like 75. So it's kind of subtle and the, the skin colors are still coming through. And what you can do now is just duplicate this pre-composed scene. If you duplicate it, we can also blur it even more. And that's going to create some kind of um, shadows around the veins, like underneath the dark kind of magic is, is really taking action here. So we can increase the blur here a little bit, uh, maybe increase the, the, the opacity and then duplicate it once more and even increase the Gaussian blur even more. So if we go over here, duplicate this, increase it even more and that way we get this kind of uh, action going. So we can duplicate it as many times as you want and then just kind of feather it out. So we really increase the Gaussian, but that way you can really see the difference here. Next to the veins, it's also kind of taking effect on the body. So without, it doesn't really look very integrated, but with this, it does. So um, I'm even going to increase this to like 250 and then for this one to like 50 and for this one, 35, very subtle. You almost don't notice it, but if you uncheck it, it's a big difference here. So play with the opacity there and yeah, at the end you will have something really cool looking just like that. Now let's take a look on how to create a black eye. So I'm going to drag in my footage of the eye right here. So we're actually looking over here. So we're just going to trim this until here and we're going to start starting from here. So as you can see, we do have some reflections in the eye and that's going to be the most important thing in order to kind of sell this effect because black, just black isn't really going to sell. You need some kind of reflection in that. We're going to try and get that exact um, reflection out of here. So what we'll do is duplicate our footage. We're going for effect color correction and apply a tint effect here. So it's black and white. And then we're going for effect color correction levels. So with levels, we're just going to play with levels until we really get only that white going and remove everything else. And there we go. We simply want to key out now just this part here. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and this part here. So to do that, we're just going to be using uh, Mocha in order to track the reflection here or actually just mask around it. And that's basically what we want to do. So we're going to click on the footage, go for Mocha AE again. So search for the effects and presets, Mocha AE, and apply that to this layer. And we're going to open up the Mocha AE. And so we're going to start with the eye on the left here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and use the spline tool again and just mask around that part. So it's also going to play as a mask here. So really try to get the entire reflection in here and right click once you're done and then just track it forward. Boom. And then go back to where we started and then track it backwards until I close my eye. And it's actually perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to jump back here and take another spline tool and now drag on the other eye. Right click and track it forward. And actually, I'm just going to be focusing on one eye here, but I'm just showing you um, how to get both of the reflections. So I'm going to drag this backwards and boom, we can close it now, save. And instead of using the track data now, we're going to use the matte here. So we're going to open up the matte options and create simple AAE masks. So if you're going to click on that, we now have masks over here. So we're going to the beginning of our eye here and like starting from here, we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to trim it and make it start from here. So we already have only the reflection now. All that rest is to do is to add the actual eye. So what I will do is right click and create a new solid layer. And I'm actually going to pick this color. I'm going to check if it's completely black. Yeah, it's completely black. So click OK and click OK. And there we go. So now we can uncheck this uh, layer here. And I'm going to the original footage and apply the Mocha AE effect to that now. Open up the Mocha AE again. Let's concentrate on one eye. So what I will do is just kind of rotoscope my eye out using the tools from Mocha. And Mocha is actually a super good tool to track, but it's also an amazing tool to do rotoscoping. I really love how it works. So we're gonna be clicking on the spline tool again 
and then click over here but we don't want too many keys here so we want one like here and we can actually round it up a little bit later so that's not a big deal for now and there we go so now right click and what we can do is bring these in to make it a little bit smoother and then just reposition these like how you want so there we go and get the eye looking as good as you can let's move this one out as well and there we go so now what we want to do is again track it forward but keep an eye pun intended to the eye um, to make sure that it doesn't kind of get off track so just make sure that it's kind of in the same position at all times because our eyes do move and we're going to just track it backwards now and it's actually looking pretty damn good and that's why I love Mocha so much because if you're gonna mask this out it's gonna <laughs> require a lot more work so like maybe over here we can kind of punch it in over here and then uh, Actually, over here we don't need it anymore, so that's perfect. Okay, so we have one eye, we can close Mocha now and save this. And again, we're just going to use uh, the mat here and create AE masks again. But instead of using this mask over here, we're going to press M on the keyboard to see the mask. We can actually change color to something more uh, poppy, so a yellow color. So we want to copy this mask or actually cut it, Control X. To cut it away and then go to the black solid and go to the beginning of the black solid and just paste it over here so we're gonna see that now it's in the perfect position so make sure that you're at the beginning when you paste the mask to that solid layer if we're going to enable the solid again press f on the keyboard and feather it something like five pixels and also open up the extra mask options and maybe um mask expansions to like minus two so we get it like nice in the shot here we can bring this below our eye footage with the reflection and look immediately you already have like that nice reflection going on and again here you can also play with the mask tool here so for the left eye we want to introduce a little bit of masking uh, a little bit of feathering and that way you see something like that but again you do see some black on top of here so to do that uh, to fix that we're just gonna duplicate our black solid layer and this is going to be our alpha mat and bring this on top of the reflection layer and just set this reflection layer to an alpha mat and that way we have the reflection right in the eye so that should be perfect and if you see like this how scary does this look so we have one black scary eye and if you want to go a little bit crazier what you can also do is create a new adjustment layer and we're going to rename this curves and we're going to apply curves to this and just darken this a little bit like that and take the ellipse tool and kind of mask it here press F on the keyboard and feather that quite a bit and that makes it a little bit darker and adds a little bit more shadow but again you will need to create a new keyframe for the mask path and just animate that along with the animation very roughly and like right here you can like fade it in press T on the keyboard opacity 100% go back 0% and that way it kind of fades in with the shadow but it looks so much scarier with that shadow and if you want to go even crazier I do have a tutorial on how to create those veins from the eyes uh, like in the vampire diary series if you know uh, that effect I do have a tutorial on that again search it on my channel just go to videos and you have a search function on the channel where you can find all of these tutorials but look awesome just phew, super scary Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Also, check out our website. We have a bunch of awesome stuff to offer. And if you buy something from our website, it really helps to support this channel. So that would be super awesome. And apart from that, I just hope to see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.